What's up, everybody? Hi, I'm T-Pop. I'll be your science instructor here in chemistry. I wanted to take a moment and show you the Schoology course and the way things are laid out, just in case you're absent or even if you're here, if you're sick or whatnot, it's all the same. And I just want to show you how you can remain on top of the work no matter where you are. So let's start with the course resources. If I open up this folder, it's, it's as it says, it's just resources for the course. The first thing is the syllabus. If you ever want to have any, if you ever have any questions about the course or things you need to know, most of the things can be answered via this syllabus. The next few things are things that are useful throughout the course, like the periodic table we'll be using all the time. Eventually, I will give you a physical version of this, but it's here in case you need it. Now, I won't require you to check out a textbook, but if you would like to, this has textbook information so you know what to check out and which textbook we're using. There's also an online textbook you're welcome to look at in case you need any extra help and support. Speaking of help and support, here is a document that has a link of extra materials, things you can check out like uh, extra practices or tutorial videos in case you need some help for any specific learning target that we're doing. Next is the pacing guide. This is a really useful tool for you to check out what we're doing each week. Uh, speaking of which, this is the general weekly pacing. If you notice each week, we're going to pretty much be doing the same pacing. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are what's known as blended learning days. On these days, there's going to be a list of materials that you're going to have to go through on Schoology, and I'll be there to help and support you. Some of them you'll go through individually. Some of them you'll be able to do with a partner, but that's what blended learning days are all about. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, those are class devoted activities. These are more group oriented things like labs or projects, things that you guys are going to be working and manipulating together to really understand the materials that you're working with through the blended learning days. Notice that everything for a week is due by Saturday night at 11.59 p.m. That's where I want everybody to kind of catch up with the work because some people might go pretty quick through the work. Some people might need to take a little bit of extra time, but Saturday night 11.59 p.m. is kind of the deadline to get things done throughout the week. The only exception that deadline is tests. All the items for a unit are going to be due the night before each of the tests. So some things might be due a little bit earlier than Saturday night, depending on if we have a test that week. To help you out with pacing, here is a pacing guide. It's a calendar to show you typically what we do each day. So again, whether you're at home, if you're sick with the coronavirus, or we're doing distance learning, this is the pacing guide we're going to be following each day. All right, let's go back to the main page to check out what each of the weekly folders look like. So the rest of the folders are going to be divided up by each week. Notice that some of the folders are hidden to you at the moment, and they'll be revealed at the beginning of each week so we can begin that week's worth of materials. If I open up the week folder, you can see it divided up by the Tuesdays and Thursdays class activity materials. So these are the items that we'll be doing Tuesdays and Thursdays. And again, I'll open up those items as we need them as we do the group-oriented work. The rest of the items are going to be open up all week long, ready for you to do kind of at your own pace, as long as you get them done by Saturday night. But these items here are in order. You can see 1.0 will be the week one, the first item there, and it's going to go through and I would pass off as you go. Notice if I open up the week folder of these checkoff items, it says here must complete. So there's items in there I must get done. Or this one says you must view the item if you look right here at this one point item. So each item has a checkoff list of materials. And as you get them done, those items will start to turn green and to check off. So those are the items that you're required to get done. And you can follow through the student progress how if you've gotten all those things done. But that's basically it. Throughout the blended learning days, you'll get these things done. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll work on these things. And they'll open up as you need them. All right, we'll see you in class. Good luck. If you're at home, you can go ahead and get started. If you're in class, we're going to work on things together. See you around the class.